Okay, so yeah. you were here um, when this happened. You were on the air downstairs, is that right? Um, actually, I was right here. So uh, okay. we get, it was about an hour and a half after we got off air, just kind of getting ready for the day. You know, we're going to take a couple stories from the morning show and get them ready for the evening newscast. And uh, in fact, uh, the news producer just says, hey, John, he was going to ask me a question. And then all of a sudden, you just hear this thunder, this thunderous boom. And it wasn't even like you've felt some earthquakes, I'm sure, before, Joe, where it's kind of a slow build. It's almost like a, like a train coming in it, and you feel it, and then it kind of goes away. This was just a smash. It was just, uh, it was sudden, it was loud, it was hard. After about two seconds, I actually got down right here. This is my desk. Uh, sorry, this is my desk. So uh, I got right down under here. And as you can see, some good structure right here. Because uh, as things were crashing down around me, we got, you know, glass doors right across the way coming down, smash glass everywhere. Um, but as we're watching this, uh, we were safe. We Shaking would have been felt in Anchorage, and uh, we're seeing additional damage again because of that liquefaction, uh, liquefaction uh, added angle. Uh, on top of that, the damage inside people's homes is expected. With this kind of earthquake size, uh, I imagine that uh, most new buildings and buildings uh, built to the modern building code would do well. But it's the it feels like everything is shaking, and the it, you know I think it lasts about 45 seconds, but that feels like half hour i mean just because it's just shaking and shaking and shaking and then it starts to roll a little bit too and uh when you're in a higher rise of building it's kind of swaying as well was knocked off the air. Its newsroom largely destroyed uh, by this quake, or at least quite a bit of damage inside. Uh, that was followed by others, one measuring uh, 5.8, an aftershock. KTVA staff have continued their reporting now on Facebook Live, as we've been watching here. Uh, but a number of roadways have buckled. Um, travel very difficult in the, in the area. And obviously, we're waiting to find out um, if all folks are safe right now, all these reports still coming in. Joe V. Hill from KT. I've never felt anything shake before. I mean, it was, it, it, it just didn't stop. It just kept going and it got louder and then louder and then things just fell everywhere. Just everything off my dresser, off my bookcases, my kitchen cupboard, there's broken glass everywhere, photos off the walls, very violent feeling. I'm still shaking. I'm still, you can probably hear it, my voice. It's, I can. I'm just scared it's going to happen again. Um, but it was absolutely terrifying. 